Patient should be seated with the elbow flexed and supported on the table with the forearm and hand pointing up, resembling the starting position for arm wrestling. The wrist is ulnarly deviated. The examiner should be seated in front of the patient with his thumb over the dorsal aspect of the scaphoid and his other hand gripping the patient's hand. The examiner applies pressure to the distal pole of the scaphoid with his thumb and then moves the patient's wrist from ulnar to radial deviation. A positive test includes reproduction of pain and a notable pop at the scapholunate articulation. A positive test implies scapholunate dissociation.